Well, it's been over a year, can you believe it, right. since Hurricane Ida slammed into our region. And while there's been tremendous progress toward our recovery, there are still many people who are displaced or living in damaged homes. Erica Ferrando was in Laplace today where one man is hoping for a FEMA trailer soon one year later. I know, and most families in St. John the Baptist Parish at least have safe shelter by now. Roofs have been replaced and some are in FEMA trailers as they wait for their homes to be repaired. But even a year later, there are still people waiting for help. Come on in a minute. As you walk through Alonzo Lemoyne's Laplace home. It's a mess. The mess appears to be only a small problem when compared to this. I got it in both bathrooms. It's growing fast. I can't get on them out anymore. Throughout the home. When it rains, it comes in through here. Mold is spreading. We got mold in here. That's why he started gutting it. Here, too. It was leaking. I tore it out. Lemoyne, who is on disability and food stamps because he suffers from heart trouble, diabetes, hearing loss, and partial blindness. I had three heart attacks not too long ago. Was home with his mom and sister when Hurricane Ida hit. No, I was home with the storm. I was doing some praying. The roof was moving. Everything was moving. I was doing some tall praying. I wasn't, I didn't sleep at all. Sleeping isn't any easier now. I need help bed, baby, and I can't hardly walk. Lemoyne's mother is no longer here to help. She was sick and hospitalized nine months ago. One day I called, she wouldn't pick up the phone. And uh, I'll get a phone call at night, you pay. And his sister. I found my sister dead in the bathroom. He believes died of a heart attack. She was grieving for my mama. The losses. Move, that's antique. Left Lemoyne with a storm damaged home to take care of. Yeah, I pulled all that out. I'm trying to keep the mow out here so I could breathe good. He doesn't have insurance to help. My mama couldn't afford it. So now, more than a year since Ida, he says he is on the list for a FEMA trailer to stay in, waiting, hoping for help. And keep praying. That's it. That's all I could do. Now, a FEMA spokesperson says they have housed 325 families in St. John. There are still 14 pending, and they don't have a time estimate on when more trailers will be distributed.